it says tank corrosion. Hey everybody, um, been a while since I've made a video. We've had family members in the hospital. We've had COVID invade our place that we've avoided it for two years, but it's finally here. Tammy has it, but she's doing good. She had a, an infusion and uh, started to get better right away. Me, holding in there, don't, not sick yet. Tired, but not sick. I guess I don't need to be talking about that. What I do want to talk about is uh, this compressor here. I want to take you for a walk around it. At Habitat for Humanity in Sault Ste. Marie, and it was 20 bucks. And I talked him into plugging it in, and it started to pump up, and it got to about 10, 15 pounds on that gauge, and I said, I'll take it, 20 bucks. Needed it for at the cabin. So I get it back to the cabin, and I was going to clean it up a little bit and plug it in, and at about 18 pounds, there about, you start hearing, Shh. well, it's corrosion on this tank. So what I'm going to do, it does pump. I'm going to see, for 20 bucks, I can put some time into it. So I'm going to tear it apart. I'm going to try to clean her all up, see if there's any more corrosion points. I'll probably take the compressor and everything off from it and the motor and get out underneath that and get those all cleaned up. Change the oil in the compressor. Do things like that. Paint? Mm, who knows? Found the mummy. My good socket, I got sockets out here, I can find a socket, but my good sockets are in, um, why is that point and clear over there? I swear. My good sockets are out in the back of my truck, and I have a hard tano on my truck, which I hate, because we got about two inches of snow, and then it it got warm and I got cold and the snow's got a frozen crust on it on the back of my hard tano and I can't get it open without getting the snow and ice off from it so rather than mess with that I'll just goof around with not the right tools for the right job okay. Yoch. Yowza. Careful. Metal shit. patch instead of just welding a hole. clear coat this thing. Leave it looking old. I don't know. Not good. 
good. Not good. It seems to be solid up here. Thin down here. Probably thin under that. Um, question is now, do I want to continue? Let's see, why not? I plan on using this scrap that I cut out of there in a chunk to uh, test my welder, to set my welder up to uh, try to figure out how to make it. I'm not a welder, so this probably isn't a really good idea for me to be doing this, but I'm going to do it. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be all right. getting pretty bad so I had to put another patch on it so I'm regrinding add patches I think I'm back to solid metal now that doesn't look good right there yet um, anyways I'm gonna air it up or put some air in it and see if I can see any leaks before I start I've got a weld brackets back on it and things yet so I want to make sure it's not leaking and it'll take some pressure um, if it was summer I'd fill it with water but it ain't so I just do it the old-fashioned way the dangerous way I threw a welding blanket over or something when I put air on it so anyways this is what I got this was the um, copper line running from the tank to the compressor and I'm gonna put that back on the tank and just so happens that I had a fitting that this air blow would fit on here so let me show you what I'm gonna do I guess I don't need that ground on there right now I screwed the hose back in to uh, I screwed the hose back in to plug that hole. I'm gonna put this back on. This is where this goes, but it would go up and hook onto the compressor, the pump. Um, I'm gonna tighten that up. Now, this right here is not might not be completely sealed, but it's going to be good enough. And now I'm going to screw, because I don't have a fitting to plug that off, I'm going to put the pressure valve back on. that tank 
and I should see it engage. I don't know if it's going to leak better. I can give it a little bit of pressure before I worry about it. Oh, it's definitely leaking somewhere. You know what? Sometimes a guy's just got to admit defeat. I don't think this was a good idea. The more I get into it, the more corrosion I find on the bottom of this. And I got a bunch of time in it figuring out how to make my welder not burn through rust and stuff like that while I've been messing with it. But it's just, it's not a good idea. It's going to have compressed air in it. I'm not a welder. So I'm going to go on to uh, some other kind of project like that ATV over there that once it gets cold it won't shift because I don't know, it must be some corrosion in the cables or something. So look for a video on that next time. Maybe it'll get completely finished. Or maybe we'll stop halfway and go on to something else. See you later. <laughs>